I don't think these standing waves are necessarily as confusing as that note may have made them. There's a lot going on with the reflection and the resonance and the interference. But once we get to the end, it's just this cool static pattern of a wave that forms in a string or a slinky or a wire, pretty much anything long that can be stretched out. For this particular one, uh, it says that it's four meters long and vibrating at the third overtone. One of the keys to all this is that you can picture the wave. I use the memory trick NOAA. So third overtone, O for overtone, goes with the N, so that means it's got three nodes. The ends of the string don't count, so if that's the end, then there's one node, two node, three node, and then the other end of the string. So my standing wave is going to look kind of like, oops, kind of like this. Once I've drawn the standing wave, then I just have to look at it. Each one of these, I call this a football shape. Each one of those is half a wavelength. That means looking at this picture, I've got one, two, three, four football shapes, or I've got two full lambdas fitting into the length of the string. The question says that the length of the string is four meters. So it's just simple division. Each wavelength must be two meters. Um, two lambda equals four, so lambda equals two.